Classico history, there's a place for those who have made a difference and who changed the rules. People like Luis Enrique Martinez. Not many people are as true to themselves as the Asturian. He was renowned for his battling nature on the pitch and for his goals, and will always form part of El Clasico folklore. There are not many players who have played for both Real Madrid and Barcelona. Even fewer have scored in El Clasico for both teams. The first of the two clubs that he represented was Real Madrid, and the Bernabeu was his home for five seasons. In fact, he was one of the protagonists in the historic 5-0 win at home in 1995. He scored the fourth in that game, and this is how he celebrated. That celebration was recalled when, two seasons later, he signed for Barca. It was time for the biggest change possible in the Spanish game and began a personal vendetta against his former club. It took little time for Lucho to become a Barca hero hailed by his new fan base. At the Santiago Bernabéu, however, he was less popular, and that would only increase. In 1997, he scored his first goal for Football Club Barcelona against their old enemy. Los Clásicos, Clásicos have to be heated, they have to be fun, entertaining. The players and fans need to give the biggest show possible on the pitch. It has to be within sporting parameters and nothing more. In total, he scored five goals against his former club. Amongst them was a brace to a standing ovation from the Camp Nou. The fans celebrated his goals like the Madrid fans had done previously, won over by Luis Enrique. His final goal against Real Madrid was in the 2002-03 season at the Bernabeu. That was a last memory as a player in El Clasico, but there was more to come. He returned to the fixture years later as a manager.